Neville O'Reilly Livingston, best known as Bunny Whaler, was a Jamaican singer-songwriter and percussionist. He was an original member of reggae group The Whalers along with Bob Marley and Peter Tosh. He's a three-time Grammy Award winner, and is considered one of the long-time standard bearers of reggae music. Asad Anaki, son of Bunny Whaler, denounces his father's manager Maxine Stowe on the same day as his dad's passing stating that she was making decisions without his consent or that of his siblings. He further claimed that Stowe had relaunched his father's catalogue without his consent after he suffered a second stroke following the disappearance of Jean Watts, his wife of over 50 years on May 23, 2020. Bunny Whaler spent his earliest years in the village of Nine Mile in St. Anne and it was there that he first met Bob Marley, and they befriended each other quickly. They were both from single parents' households. Bunny was raised by a single father and Bob by a single mother. Later, Bunny's father Thaddeus married Bob's mother Sidella Booker and had a daughter with her named Pearl Livingston. Bunny's musical career officially started when he was supposed to audition for Leslie Kong at Beverly's Records in 1962, around the same time his stepbrother Bob Marley was cutting Judge Knott. He had intended to sing his first composition, Pass It On, which at the time was Scott-oriented. However, he was late getting out of school and missed the audition. A few months later, in 1963 he formed the Wailing Whalers with Bob Marley and Peter Tosh, and short-term members Junian Brathwaite and Beverly Kelso. Bunny tended to sing lead vocals less often than Bob and Peter in the early years, but when Bob left for Delaware and was briefly replaced by Constantine Vision Walker, Bunny began to record and sing lead vocals on some of his own composition, such as Who Feels It Knows It. Bunny's style of music was influenced by gospel music and the soul singer Curtis Mayfield. In 1967, he recorded This Train, based on a gospel standard. Bunny was arrested on charges of possession of cannabis in June 1967 and served 14 months in prison. Around that time, Bob and Peter signed an exclusive recording agreement with Danny Sims Jad Records and an exclusive publishing agreement with Sims Music Publishing Company Cayman Music. As the Whalers regularly changed producers in the late 1960s, Bunny continued to be underused as a writer and lead vocalist, although he was a key part of the group's distinctive harmonies. He sang lead on Dreamland, a cover of El Tempo's My Dream Island, which soon became his signature song. The early 70s saw Bunny composing a plethora of songs in line with his beliefs. He toured with the Whalers in England and the United States, but soon became reluctant to leave Jamaica. He and Peter became more marginalized in the group as the Whalers attained international success, and attention was increasingly focused on Bob Marley. Bunny subsequently left the Whalers in 1973 to pursue a solo career after refusing to tour when Chris Blackwell wanted the Whalers to tour freak clubs in the United States, stating that it was against his Rastafari principles. Before leaving the Whalers, Bunny became more focused on his spiritual faith. He identified with the Rastafari movement, as did the other Whalers. He has also written much of his own material as well as re-recording a number of cuts from the Whalers' catalogue. Bunny has recorded primarily in Roots style, in keeping with his often political and spiritual messages. His album Black Heart Man was well received. Bunny leaves behind 13 children, ranging in ages from 50 to 12 and 12 of them are girls. Sending our condolences to the Whaler family and Bunny Whaler's fans round the world and may he rest in eternal peace. If you've listened to us this far please subscribe and don't forget to share and like. One love. Thank you.